driven deep to left. And just like that, this game is tied. That didn't take long. Boy, boy. Duke's trying to get him there. 1-1 one, one pitch. Rivera, there's a shot. Base hit. Rounding third. Here comes Gomez's throw all the way through, and the Padres win. And Rivera does it twice. He ties it with a homer. He wins it with a single. And the Brewers let one get away tonight in San Diego. Boy, this one hurts for the Brew Crew tonight. Yeah, this is uh, this is one that they're going to be thinking about for a, a couple of days. This is not the way you want to go into an off day. Not a very good ball game played by the Brewers, and they know it. And Milwaukee has lost five straight and falls into a tie for first place in the NL Central. Cubs go on for the 6-2 win as they complete the three-game sweep, their first over the Brewers since 2004, sending Milwaukee to their eighth straight loss. And the Reds would take this one by a 5-3 final, which officially eliminates a Brewers team from postseason contention, which once led the NL Central by six and a half games on July 1st. There's a ground ball, and folks, that's it. The season is over. The Cubs beat the Brewers. A 5-2 final, and we wrap it up. 162 in the books. The Brewers go 82. And After the collapse of 2014, the Brewers traded former ace Giovanni to the Rangers for Corey Knebel. are managed by number 10, Ron Renneke. And now, today's starting lineup for your Milwaukee Brewers. Leading off, wearing number 27, the center fielder, Carlos Gomez. 27, Gomez. Batting second and catching number 20, Jonathan Lucroy. 20, Lucroy. Batting third, the right fielder, number eight, Ryan Braun. Number eight, Braun. Batting cleanup and playing third base, number 16, Aramis Ramirez. 16, Ramirez. Batting fifth and playing first base, number 24, Adam Lind. 24, Lind. Batting sixth and wearing number 18, the left fielder, Chris Davis. 18, Davis. Batting seventh, wearing number two, the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Number two, Jeanette. Batting eighth and playing shortstop, number nine, Gene Segura. Nine, Segura. And in the bullpen, warming up, number 26, the ninth batter, pitcher, Kyle Loesch. 26, Loesch. As they complete the season opening sweep of the Brewers with a 5-4 victory in 10 innings. Cubs win at 1-0, their fifth win in six games. The Brewers fall to 5-18. They are still without consecutive victories this season. Unfortunate last night that I had to notify Ron Renneke that he would uh, not be retained as manager of the ball club. And I'm pleased to announce Craig Council as the new manager of the Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah, and we're going to try to win games. That's my job is to win games. And that's... Uh, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna try to do every single day. I wake up. We're gonna try to figure out a way to win baseball games. The first game of the Craig Council era. Milwaukee's newly hired skipper. Swinging a fly ball, hit to left center and deep, way back. Get up, get out of here. It's gone for Hector Gomez, and the Brewers add one more. Uh, a towering home run by Hector Gomez. His first. In the major league. Base in here could tie the game with Adam Lind, the runner at second. Here comes the 0 1. 
There's a smash left center field. This game is going to be tied. Gomez to second. That'll be charged to Kershaw. Three runs tonight in seven and a third. Broken bat, roller, Uribe charges, throws the first, not in time. Broad legs it out. Gomez scores. Brewers take the lead. Well, you figure the Dodgers might want to take another look at that one. This will be a good look at it right here. And boy, I tell you, there's no way they're going to turn that around. Yeah, I think he's good. Safe at first. RBI for Braun. 4 3, Brew Crew. Here comes the 3 2 pitch. Game over. K Rod gets it done again. Fifth save of the year. And Craig Council in his managerial debut is victorious. Here's the 1 1. Braun's with it. Maldonado wins the game for the Brewers. Mike Fires in return. Domingo Santana, the outfielder, also Brett Phillips, a big name in the minor leagues. Adrian Hauser and Josh Hader, the lefty, coming over in that Bud Norris trade a couple of years ago. That's who the Brewers get. In the 2015 offseason, the Brewers got Junior Guerra off waivers from the White Sox, traded K Rod to the Tigers for Manny Pena, traded Adam Lynn to the Mariners for Freddy Peralta, and lastly, traded Gene Segura to the D backs for Isan Diaz, Chase Anderson, and Aaron Hill. Number 16, the right fielder, Domingo Santana. Batting second, number five, the shortstop, Jonathan VR. Five VR. Batting third, left fielder, number eight, Ryan Braun. Eight Braun. Batting cleanup, number 20, the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. 20, Lucroy. Batting fifth, first baseman, number 33, Chris Carter. 33, Carter. Batting sixth, third baseman, number nine, Aaron Hill. Nine, Hill. Batting seventh, second baseman, number two, Scooter Jeanette to Jeanette batting eighth and pitching currently in the bullpen number 38 Willie Peralta 38 Peralta batting ninth and playing center field number 23 Keon Broxton 23 Broxton and your Milwaukee Brewers are managed by number 30 Craig Council. Ground ball. Jeanette goes to second out there. Dangerous throw, but yeah. they get the lead out. That's a good Wait play. a minute. We got a call at second. Off the back. That's a double play. And if that holds up, the game is over. And the headsets are coming off. The crew chief, Tom Howie, will make the call. That's it. That is the ball game. All right, what a break that is. Aldonado back behind the plate. Jonathan Lucroy, as we mentioned. But if you're just checking in, yes, he remains a Milwaukee Brewer. Not in the lineup again here today. Trade deadline, 3 o'clock Central Time tomorrow afternoon. Even the most casual of Brewers fans know what he is now. Terrific performance on the field, what he has done in the community. And still a Brewer getting an at-bat here in the eighth inning. He already vetoed one trade, but now it looks like Jonathan Lucroy is in fact heading to a new team. Texas Rangers. 
Ken Rosenthal reported Monday the Brewers are sending Lucroy to the Rangers in exchange for top prospects. Lucroy previously vetoed a trade that would have sent him to the Cleveland Indians. The 30-year-old catcher is known for his solid defense behind the dish. He also has 17 doubles and 13 home runs and counting as the MLB enters the second half. And he got him. Lucroy will have to secure it at first. He does so and that will retire. The kick, the pitch. He struck him out with a swing and a foul tip. Look at Tommy Joseph. And there's a base hit. Right field, Santana. That arm might be tested right away. Fires it to the plate. One hop, the tag in time. Boy, I guess that shoulder's okay. Santana deep in the center field. That is way back. Goodbye. A home run. Domingo Santana with his first home run of the season. Last time up. And that ball is high in the air, deep to left field. That one's not coming back. And that one bounces up and out on to Waveland. Oh, man, yeah. Domingo Santana. Fielder at the plate. 2-2. Two -two. Garcia to right, a base hit. His first as a big leaguer, and it'll produce a run. The game is tied at one. And Orlando Arcia on the board with his first major league hit. Oh, you love that. I mean, that was a changeup right there from Shipley. RBI single by Patterson. Susak trying to put the Brewers back on top. Susak deep in the left field. That is way back. And there it goes. Andrew Susak with a two run home run. And the Brewers are right back on top. Susak's first big league home run of the season. In the 2017 offseason, the first big move the Brewers made was signing Eric Thames to a three-year contract. Boston Red Sox are getting some help in the bullpen. Multiple sources reported Tuesday morning that the Red Sox traded Travis Shaw and prospects to the Milwaukee Brewers for reliever Tyler Thornburg. The deal was confirmed by Fox Sports' Ken Rosenthal. Thornburg has spent his entire Major League career with the Brewers, with his best season coming in 2016. The Texas native had 90 strikeouts in 67 innings and recorded a 2.15 ERA while also notching 13 saves. His contract runs until 2020. Shaw had an up and down 2016 for the Red Sox, hitting 16 home runs with a 726 OPS. And now, today's lineup for your Milwaukee Brewers. Managed by number 30, Craig Council. Playing second base, number five, Jonathan B.R. Number seven, Eric Thames at first base. He's batting second. Number eight, the left fielder, Ryan Braun. 21, third baseman, Travis Shaw. Number 16, Domingo Santana in right field. Batting sixth, number 23, Keon Broxton in center field. Number 47 in the bullpen, the catcher, Jet Bendy. At shortstop, batting eighth, number three, Orlando Arcia. And pitching, warming up in the bullpen right now, number 41, Junior Guerra. Here it is. Pena sends it to left. Way back. Get up. Reed out of here, and it's now 11 9 Brewers. At the trade deadline, the Brewers got Jeremy Jeffress back from the Rangers. Fastball back up the middle. RC arranges over gloves. He throws and out of first. Oh my goodness. He's kidding me. What? What a play. Orlando RC and Eric. Guy is unbelievable. 
Just give him a gold glove right now. Need a rally to keep this game going or win it. Swung on, hit in the air, left center, back half at the track, gone! And Milwaukee has walked it off! Santa Maria! The Brewers with that little heartbeat now. That was a must, must win. 7-6 Cardinals is your final score. The Brewers are officially eliminated from playoff contention. The second wild card berth goes to the Colorado Rockies. Right before the calendar flipped to 2018, the crew went out and signed Jalice Tristine to a two-year deal. Uh, so Ken Rosenthal, from around 7 o'clock Eastern last night, for about the next 45 minutes, he really dominated Twitter. Started with this, Christian Yelich traded to the Brewers, sources telling The Athletic. Then, about 15 minutes later, he comes with this. Acquisition of Yelich does not necessarily rule out the Brewers on free agent outfielder Lorenzo Kane. Brewers have been on Kane the entire offseason and might be plotting a major push. Then at 824 Eastern, he hits us with this. Brewers in agreement with free agent outfielder Lorenzo Kane. Sources tell the athletic deal is pending a physical. It's a uh, five-year wow. deal, $80 million for no, no, Lorenzo no, Kane. But I think we'd all agree it has been a very exciting offseason in America's Dairyland. Ken Rosenthal, the big need, at least according to us amateurs, is still to bolster that starting pitching front. That is, and it's going to be really interesting to see what the Brewers do next, if anything. Their GM, David Stearns, told reporters last week that they'd be comfortable with what they have. This is GM speak. And <laughs> also, he wasn't so sure that they were going to make the type of high-profile move that a lot of us have been reporting that they might do. Now, I don't know that I can see them being the lead dog for a Darvish, but they still could make a trade. And they could trade Brett Phillips, they could trade Domingo Santana, either one of those outfielders to get pitching help. They could do some lower level things. And who knows, perhaps they could be the landing spot for Jake Arrieta. So they are a team that certainly bears watching in the weeks ahead because they do have that need for pitching. As spring training started, the Brewers signed Wade Miley to a minor league contract. Here he comes, and that one's deep, right center, Christian Yelich has tied it! Squares it at four, now it's Braun, who swings and launches, that's his way back, and that is a ball game! Lorenzo Kane with a chance to drive in Yelich from second base. Backhanded Baez, and now Yelich is going to be caught in a rundown. Kane on his way to second. Yelich trying to stay in it as long as he can. And now Yelich is safe. Smart. And now Kane is going to be safe at first. What wow. a heads up play by Lorenzo Kane. Unbelievable. Yelich. Drives one right center field. That's going to get down. We are tied at 10 as Yelich is on his way to second. Makes the turn on his way to third. It'll be a triple for Yelich. The cycle for Christian Yelich. A five hit game. This one ties it at 10. <laughs> Amazing, huh? 3 1 coming back. Hit in the air, left field, hit a ton, Schwarber back at the track, it's 1-0 Brewers! Lorenzo Kane hits his eighth home run, and the Brewers take that 1-0 lead. Here comes Christian Yelich, who is a triple away from the cycle. Yelich into the gap, right center! Keep on running, Christian! In the score is Scope, Yelich is going to turn and burn! Throw to the plate, Scope is safe! It's a triple, and it's a cycle for Yelich! That is unbelievable. The pitch got him looking outside corner. There's a strike called on the outside corner. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, and Yoli Chassin strikes out the side in the fourth. 
He got him. Curved him up. 2 2 pitch. Got him. Miley strikes him out. Pulled the string on him. Ben Zobris, the 3 2. And called strike three. May have been just outside of the zone, and Zobris very upset. To take a flyer on him in the offseason. There's the pitch that saved him all day. Backdoor breaking ball. And another strikeout for Yolis Chassin, his 10th. That is a season high for the Brewer Hurler. Castillo again squaring around a bunt, pulls the bat back, swings through it for strike three. Reds are getting to Miley for their first run here in the inning. Miley trying to get out of it without further damage. And he does with a strikeout of Hamilton. Played Miley, they would have been smiling big. Ground ball to Orlando Arcia, who fields it, throws to first. And six strong innings for Wade Miley in his Brewers debut here tonight. Down he goes. It's another strikeout for Chassin. One away. Chassin deals and a swing and a miss. He struck him out. It's actually a splitter. Yeah, a split change. Do it again. Another one, two. And he got him this time. A dandy. That sharp curveball. Baez strikes out. Chassin has seven, which matches his season Brewers high. Brewers making a move, and we wonder if does Milwaukee do that? They fell out of the division lead, got back into the wild card spot. They're still there, and they go out and get Mike Moustakis. Hmm. But they had a third baseman. <laughs> I can't explain this. What are your thoughts on them getting Moustakis? I didn't love this. The more natural fit was to get a second baseman and then keep Travis Shaw at third. Travis Shaw, by the numbers, the advanced metrics, is a better defensive third baseman than Mike Moustakis. Hasn't played second base, so you're potentially weakening yourself at two positions. Right. The Brewers feel Mustaka's bat will play, especially at Miller Park. They feel that Travis Shaw, because they shift their infielders around, can adjust. To me, this is an awfully big risk, perhaps too much of a risk. I love outside-the-box thinking. We've come to appreciate that in the game in the last couple of years. This, to me, sounds a little extreme. And the 0-2 pitch by Gant. Hit sharply inside the first baseline on an 0-2 pitch. O'Neal, his throw to second base. It'll be close. In there safely, and it's 2-0 Milwaukee. There's a high drive, right field, way back. And Moustakas hits one out of here. 7-3 Brewers. Three-hit game for Moustakas. Well, talk about Tomahawk and a high fastball. My goodness. That's the way it's done. The Brewers get Jonathan Scope. All right, John, <laughs> John Hart, your thoughts on Scope going to Milwaukee? <laughs> well, I love the player, but yeah. you also look at the deal they just made for Moustakas. You've got to analyze kind of what's going to happen. But there. here's the second base Travis. now, right? There's yeah. a guy who can play second base. Yeah. Oh, it is. So listen, yeah. I like this deal for the Brewers. Scope is going to help them. It's going to be another good offensive piece. If you can't get the big pitcher, you win it late in the game. They've got a bullpen that's as good as anybody in baseball right now. Their rotation hasn't been addressed. Maybe it will, you know, as you go into August. But this is a club that's going to score runs. I think this guy helps him offensively. He helps him defensively. It's what do you do now with Shaw and Moustakas? Mm. But you are a much better club to, right now than you were 10 minutes ago before you got scope. Right. Giants outfield very deep. Two outs in the sixth. And scope launches one left field. It is hooking. It is gone. A grand slam. Careful what you wish for, right? That's how you answer a dust up around home plate. That's exactly the way you do it. Scope lays back on the curveball and knocks it out of here. How about that one? Boy, that had to feel good for Scope. My goodness. Well, he's all business right now walking through that dugout, too. Jonathan Scope, his brewer moment has just happened. Cardinals down to their last strike. That Brewers dugout is ready to erupt. Yeah, they're uh, they're ready to go.
One and two to Tyler O'Neill. Two outs in the ninth. Jeffrey steals. And he struck him out. And the Brewers win. Back to the postseason. Milwaukee. Wow. A sweep of the Cardinals. And the Brewers have secured a berth in the postseason in 2018. Oh, what a scene. What a season. What a season these guys have had. My goodness. What a September they've had. What a series here in St. Louis. And how many times have the St. Louis Cardinals sent the Brewers home to end the season? Well, not today. There will be October baseball for the Brewers in 2018. What a ride it's been. A team that lost 94 games in 2015. Craig Council's first year as manager. Turned it around into a winning season and a contending season last year. Now they have pushed over that hump and they're going back to the postseason for the fifth time in franchise history. What a team. And still work to do a lot of work to do they're in the postseason they want home field they want to win the division and beyond and incredible stuff with this these guys all season long but in particular the month of september has been magical norris deals and yelich in the air deep left center field way back goodbye he's done it again christian yelich to the opposite field, a two-run home run, number 35, and the Brewers are within a run. Brewers led 5-3 at one point, and there's Yelich, deep to right, and this one is gone! Christian Yelich has done it again! 125 foot bomb off a of lefty to put the Brewers on top. There is nothing left to say about Christian Yelich. I, I got chills. I Jeffrey steals a swing and a miss. The Brewers win. And the Chicago Cubs have company at the top of the National League Central. 6 5 the final. Boy, how he would enjoy this. This is going to do it, folks. The home schedule and the regular season is over. That is win number 95. An 11-0 victory for the Brew Crew. They will head to Chicago with a chance to win the National League Central with a victory over the Cubs tomorrow afternoon. Looks at his bench as he drives in Garcia. And the Brewers grab a 2-1 lead in the eighth. He goes. And that one is over the head of Murphy. Kane will go to third. Braun delivers. And a huge add-on run for the Milwaukee Brewers with two strikes. Game over, division over. The Brewers are champions of the Central. And seriously, who wants to play them right now? <laughs> All the spoils that come with this victory today for the Brewers. Now, a couple of days off before the National League Division Series begin. They will have home field for as long as they stay in the National League playoffs. And there's probably no place they'd rather do it if they're not in Milwaukee than at Wrigley Field.
Almost a postseason game for the first time since 2011. Fans are going crazy here in Milwaukee as we welcome you to the National League Division Series on FS1, presented by Doosan. We are moments away from Game 1 between the Brewers and the Colorado Rockies. People questioned the Brewers when they made the trade, said Yelich, ah, oh. you saw the tweets and the reaction from fans, ah, oh, he's just an average player. First pitch, deep center field, Blackman looks up, it is gone! A two-run shot off the bat of Christian Yelich. Two nothing Brewers. There goes Brandon. The stock is with a base hit into right field to win Game One of this division series for the Milwaukee Brewers. Saw Jeffress in the dugout. Crowds with a blue base hit into left field. Bronx scores. Here comes Arcia. It is now 4 0 Milwaukee as Kratz drives in two. Ground ball to the second baseman, Perez. The Brewers take a 2 0 lead in the National League Division Series. Series with three walks. Hit toward the hole. LeMahieu skids to make the play. Throws to second. They get the force. And a run scores. I think we just got to keep going inning by inning and see what happens. But thanks so much. You got it, Jim. This is what happens sometimes. A home run while you're listening to a pre-taped interview. Aguilera unloads. He did it 35 times during the regular season. And now he gives the Brewers a 2-0 lead. That's a balk. And now it gets away and heading for the plate is Kratz and he scores. Everything unraveling here in the sixth for the Rockies. Wow. Is the last guy between the Brewers and a sweep. He lifts one into right. Kane and Broxton, it'll be Kane. And that's that. Wade Miley joins the celebration. There won't be a W next to his name in the box score, but he did everything Craig Council could have asked him to do. No question. They uh, they call him sometimes openers. They're still st you don't say what times the game open, what times it starts. So the Brewers had starters and they had enders. And let's all enjoy game one together. And they are ready here in Milwaukee for tonight's game and to see if their Brewers can get to. The second World Series in franchise history. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers tonight from Wisconsin. He knows what he's doing. Flies one into right center field. Back at the wall. Are you kidding? Home run. Woodruff. 1-1 one, one in game one.
one out. And a fly ball into shallow center. Tagging is Kane. Bellinger's throw is too late. It gets away from Grandal, and the runners advance to second and third. It does go as a hit, and then an error on Taylor, and that's in the left to hit. And to score Pena. Arcia coming to the plate. No throw. Four to one. A one. Right side, base hit. Santana coming home. The throw cut off. Five to one. Rios on the mound. Fly ball into right. Back is Kemp at the wall. It is gone. Aguilar, a home run the opposite way. It's six to one. Tying run at third, two out, 2-2 two -two pitch. Struck him out! And Milwaukee's won 12 straight. And they lead this NLCS one game to nothing. That is hammered down toward the corner. Digging it out is Peterson. Digging for third is Yelich. They bring him to the plate, and the Brewers strike first. Ryan Braun takes a breaking ball and hammers it into the corner. And he puts Milwaukee on top here in the first. 1-0 pitch. In the dirt, and that'll bring the run home. 2-0 Milwaukee. Garcia hits one into right, back at the wall, this ball is gone! Home run the opposite way by Arcia to double the lead, it's 4-0 Milwaukee. Jeffress on one and two. Got him! Struck him out looking. Milwaukee wins it four to nothing as Jeffress gets into and out of trouble. And the Brewers are up two games to one. That is in the right. Base hit. Home in the air. The throw home. Too late. Brewers. Stockis adds to the lead. Aguilar comes. The game, we asked him about the mood of the team and the with two out. Kratz goes the opposite way. Throw by Puig is cut off. And they're both in for Milwaukee. No. And when you see it and wait back, good things happen. Yelich scores. Another extra base hit. Try to pull and launch. And I've seen them sit back. And, oh. and gets away from Grandal and will score a run. Make it. Oh, and that's exactly what happened. And the Brewers. Breaking ball. Base hit. There for counsel. Karen, game set. In this one, after coming in for Miley in the fifth, Ryu up training. Your quest is to get to the World Series. Two balls, two strikes. The next from Kershaw. The Dodgers have won the pennant. 
Back to the World Series they go. A final of five to one. As they take game seven here in Milwaukee.